Hi, I'm Sharon Mancini, and I wanted to just review a couple ways that you can prepare your home for sale. So preparing your home for sale is very important because you want to not only have a lot of showings on your house, and that way that will spur a lot of offers, but also to, um, to keep the buyer's emotionally connected to the house throughout the process, difficult points in the transaction, such as the appraisal coming in low or the house needing a lot of repairs at the home inspection. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the importance of preparing your house for sale and what you can do to prepare your house for sale. So the first thing is clean and declutter. So I can't tell you like what a great difference it makes when a house gets a really good scrub. So living in our home, sometimes we don't really see that the house needs some cleaning or some decluttering. And so I think it's really important to look at your house with a fresh set of eyes as the very first step in preparing your home for sale. So when you look at your house, you you don't see it. You run in, you run out, you sleep, you wake up, you live in your house all the time. So sometimes you don't see how much you have collected over the years and having a cluttered house is really probably the biggest detriment besides a smelly house in getting a lot of offers and possibly going over asking price for the sale of your house. So what I recommend is one, hiring a professional cleaner. If you need a recommendation on that, let me know. I'd be happy to refer someone. And secondarily, decluttering. So go through your house, find out, like just take a look around and see what collections you have, what extra furniture, like most people have way too much furniture. And so see what furniture that you're not going to be bringing with you on your move. And let's go ahead and take that out before the house even goes up for sale. Also remove things like um, picture collections. A lot of times people will have family photos on the wall and um, you want to remove like really personal items like that. And also also gives a fresh new look. So what I am going to recommend is to take a look at your house. Like think of a, a builder's model home and how that feels. Like our goal is to really evoke feeling when people come through your house. So builders have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars with designers figuring out what makes people buy. And when you go through that house, it's perfect. It's absolutely beautiful. You just wanna give up your whole life and just move in. So that is the point of doing that. So but to keep the, that builder's model home in mind when looking at your house, and think what is here that is so personal, what is really kind of cluttering things up, and what can I remove to really make my house more like a builder's model home. So number two is repair and touch up. So sometimes you've been living with something like a broken closet door for years and you're like, oh, whatever, I don't even care. I don't have time to deal with it. Now is the time to go through your house, figure out like what isn't really in working order because when you have buyers coming through, you are going to have people doing things like opening up your cabinets and opening up your closets. And we want to make sure that everything is really in good working order and that the house is well maintained. So things like a cracked tile and a little um, rehabber tip is what you may want to do is if you have tile and you don't want to retile your floor to sell your house, but you have a cracked tile, pull out the stove or refrigerator and cut out a piece of tile from that and switch the broken tile with the new tile that you have under your fridge that is probably in perfect condition. So um, it's little things like this that you really just want to fix up and make the house look as, as fresh as possible. So um, by doing these little things and like caulk and paint can do wonders for a house and really make it look so much better. So um, just go through, fix all the little things that haven't been fixed and um, you're really going to be like pretty far ahead from a lot of listings that I've seen, just by cleaning, caulking, painting, and decluttering. So number three is staging. So I'm going to do another video on staging. I have a strong background in staging, and I had a home staging company from 2008 to 2010, and I learned a lot about it, and I really love it. So 
when we are working together, I will help you to stage your home to get the highest amount of money in the shortest amount of time. So what stage is to really, I had talked about emotion just a couple minutes ago and people aren't buying windows and doors. They are buying with emotion and they want to live in this home and they want to see their babies crawl on the floor and they want to renew their vows in the backyard. And that is what this is about, is really evoking emotion by setting the stage to sell your home. So I will work with you in staging your home for sale and you will be amazed at the difference that it can make just by changing the placement of furniture and making it more welcoming. And um, you can really do a lot by just changing around the things that you already have, not necessarily bringing in new items. A lot of times people think that staging is bringing in a bunch of new things and it's not. It's really just maximizing your space and um, really highlighting the details of your house. So next is enhanced curb appeal. So curb appeal, what is that? When somebody pulls up to, the, to your house and they are out house hunting they, or they're just driving by, they've, they've seen it for sale and they're driving by or they're ready to come in and take a look, they are going to see the outside of your house first. Also, when they're working with a realtor, the realtor is going to be working with the lockbox and that is their first view of your house is while the realtor is getting the key, they're gonna be looking around, they're gonna be looking at your porch, they're gonna be looking at the stoop. So you really want to make it as appealing as possible. So what I would recommend for curb appeal is paint the front door, number one. Number two is put a wreath on the front door. And three, we will also stage the exterior of the house. So we will make a nice little porch or stoop setting that's really um, just makes the house look very appealing. So in addition to that, I also recommend doing some work on your flower beds and front lawn and just get the, a professional to mow the lawn and trim and mulch the flower beds and really just make it look fresh and new and clean and really just like some place that someone could walk up to the door and be like, wow, this is just really nice. What they've done here is terrific. I can't wait to see the inside. So the next one is let in natural light. So probably in the course of living in your home, you have perhaps vertical blinds or heavy drapes. I recommend removing them, putting in sheer, pretty, white, breezy curtains. So on every window, you want to have just light and bright all over your house. Like we really want it to be as bright and light as possible. It, um, you may have had different decorating tastes, but now that you're selling your house, like the way that you sell a house and the way that you live in a house is two totally different things. So you may not like living with the white and breezy look, but it's what's in style. And a lot of buyers will be attracted to that look and it just makes the whole feel of your house feel so much better. And um, odors. So just make sure a lot of set pets, including me, and they can be a little stinky and a little dirty. So during the time that you have your house for sale, just make sure that your litter box is clean. Um, make sure that you either remove your dog or create your dog during showings and keep the area around where your pets are, their litter, their crate, their food areas, um, neat and tidy and we will work on um, ways that you can really make your house smell terrific. I really don't recommend like really harsh air fresheners because a lot of people are very sensitive to that. And it also might look like you're trying to cover up something like a scent in your house. So we will go more of a natural route. And um, I have some recommendations when we begin to work together on how you are going to make your house smell amazing. So next is highlight storage spaces. So a lot of times when people put their house on the sale, they will house for sale, they will go through and they will do all the cleaning and declutter, decluttering and really just make the house look outstanding. But then you open the door and everything is stuffed in there. So people going through your house will be looking at this and I highly recommend also staging the closet. So I will help you with that as well. But what I'm going to preface this with is 
to um, remove probably about 50% of the things that you have in your closet. So during the course of living in your house, you have collected a lot of stuff and a lot of it gets stuffed in the closets, if not during the whole time that you live in your house, but in the decluttering process, you will probably be stuffing a lot in the closet. So places like garages, um, sheds, basements, and closets all probably need about 50% of the stuff cleared out. So whether you declutter it and you just throw it away or give it away, or you rent a storage bin and that way you could put some furniture in there. And with me as your agent, your house will sell very quickly. So it will just be a couple months. I do understand it's an additional cost, but it will really make your house show better than, um, than having a lot of clutter, a lot of furniture, a lot of things in the closets. So I am Sharon Mancini. I'm a real estate agent. I also buy houses. So you can reach me on Facebook, Instagram. I will link my phone number, email, and my socials down below in the comments. And I hope to work with you soon. Thank you.